Hello everyone, it's been a while, at least since you all heard my voice. So today, because I don't have something prepared, I'll talk about this little study of a glass sculpture I made. The entire process is sped up and I think the original time was like around one hour and a few minutes. It's hard to tell how much the footage is sped up since I drew it on Procreate and the capturing feature works a little differently than just videoing what you do. But now that we've got that out of the way, let's go over the basic things we need to know when drawing glass. The material is very translucent, almost invisible. The only thing we can see about glass are its edges and light that gets refracted within the volume. Our brain learned to know how these refractions look typically and can even understand the basic shape and volume of the glass body by only looking at the refractions, since we don't see much more anyway. Now the second point is that glass as a material is shiny, very shiny in fact, which means that we need to consider its environment when drawing glass, since it's not only refracting the light that goes through it, and distorts the things behind it, it also reflects the light from all of its environment on its surface and distorts it based on the surface shape, kind of like a mirror or very polished metal. Knowing these two things about glass will help you greatly understand how to approach it. I recommend approaching it the way you saw in the time lapse, which is get good reference, draw a basic sketch with the focus on the outline of the glass shape, and finally, Fill your shape and create a clipping mask so you don't go over the border. Then slowly work your way from one end to another, considering what this part will be reflecting and refracting. If you're unsure, you can always get more reference mid-drawing, or you can try to stylize a certain point to make the form read better. Last but not least, I'd like to talk about the shadow that glass casts. As you know, we can see through it which means light will go through it without a doubt. So why does it even cast a shadow? It's because a tiny amount of light is lost when passing through. So the shadow of a glass structure usually looks barely visible, and at its outer edge it's more defined and darker, since there the light gets refracted and can't make it to the place it was supposed to go, throwing shade only to that point. Because of that effect of refraction, you sometimes get something like a lens effect, where there is more light in the shadow than out of the shadow, kind of like a magnifying glass. Now I hope the little session on glass painting has helped you. I'll be making some other material tutorials in the future, since people like to know more about that. If you've got any other suggestions, let me know down below or directly on the Discord. I wish you happy drawing, and I'll see you next time whatever it may be.